Rodrigo! What happens when a rock comes up against a hard place? Something has to give, and I think what we're watching in this series is what gives. Let us drink, then, to... To family. You begin to see how the relationships are just gently shifting and whether they're going to hold together or burst apart. Dead men can't confess, can they? Juan makes unforgivable mistakes in season two. He kills Paolo, Lucrezia's lover, and, and her child's father. <laughs> Where is the murderer? Too close for comfort. Alexander adores Juan. He is immensely forgiving for this boy who has fatal character flaws. If you had a hand in his death, now is the time to confess it to us. The great thing between Lucrezia and Juan is that she knows that he did it and he knows that she knows that he did it, but they can't vocalize it and they don't say it. You have no regrets, do you, De Juan? No burning ones? No. You have blatant acceptance of having caused Lucrezia harm. And so she's not one to sit back and do nothing about it. In episode three, Lucrezia is in a very dark place and when she goes up to see him, it's a complete revenge. She was, as we read in history, a very strong-willed woman she became. And I think what we're seeing is that progression for Lucrezia. So in episode five, Lucrezia says no to her dad. I will not marry. Never again. So there, let it rest. And as Cesare says, she starts a war with him. Jeremy, when he's playing the Pope, he can be quite intimidating. So it, it kind of brings a lot to the scene to have to stand up for that and be like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be scared of you. <laughs> with weapons like these, we can reinvent combat. Season two is about Cesare stopping to whine and, <laughs> and just getting into action. He does kind of go rogue, trying to convince his father that he is the most dutiful brother and that he's worth being the leader of the papal army. Cesare is once again being thwarted by his father. Medici gold. I would batter the walls of Forlì with it. You would be a soldier. You know, that has always been my heart's desire. The important thing for Alexander is that he has Cesare within the church. He always hoped he would become a future pope. And, of course, that's against his nature. You must have one son in the closet and one in armor. Would you have us make Juan a cardinal? What we're seeing is how each character is developing, getting stronger or weaker. Your perfect family. You begin with that family unity, and you kind of see it crack and fracture. Do you love me, brother? As I love myself. These days, it's not a lot. It is then up to the Pope to try and keep this family unit from destroying itself from the inside out. I don't think he particularly achieves that. Pope Alexander fights to keep the Borgia family united as season two continues. New episodes every Sunday at 10. And catch up on season two anytime on Showtime On Demand.